Well, hello everyone. My name is Silberto Ortiz Melendez and I will be talking about the island country Iceland. Iceland is a European island country located in the North Atlantic Ocean on the Mid-Atlantic Ridge. It has a population of about 312,000 and a total area of 103,000 km square, 39,769 square miles. The capital and largest city is Reykjavik, with the surrounding area being home to some two-thirds of the national population. Iceland is volcanically and geologically active on a large scale. The interior mainly consists of a patio characterized by sand fields, mountains and glaciers. While many glacial rivers flow to the sea through the lowlands, Iceland is warmed by the Gulf Stream and has a temperate climate despite its high latitude just outside the Arctic Circle. The Icelandic ministries are Prime Minister's Office, Ministry of Economic Affairs, Ministry of Communications, Ministry of Education, Science and Culture, Ministry for the Environment, Ministry of Finance, the Ministry of Fisheries and Agriculture, Ministry for Foreign Affairs, Ministry of Health, Ministry of Industry, Energy and Tourism, Ministry of Justice and Human Rights, and Ministry of Social Affairs and Social Security. The economy of Iceland is small and subject to high volatility. In 2007, gross domestic product was 12.144 billion in total and 38,400 per capita, based on purchasing power parity estimates. The financial crisis of 2007-2010 has produced a decline in GDP and employment, although the magnitude of this decline remains to be determined. Iceland has a mixed economy with high levels of free trade and government intervention. However, government consumption is less than in other Nordic countries. The krona is the currency of Iceland. The word krona, meaning crown, is related to that of other Nordic currencies, such as the Danish krona, Swedish krona, and Norwegian krona, and to the Latin word corona, crown. The name Icelandic crown is sometimes used, for example, in the financial markets. Icelandic, pronounced as Islenska, is a North Germanic language, the main language of Iceland. Its closest relative is Faroese. Icelandic is an Indo-European language belonging to the North Germanic or Nordic branch of the Germanic languages. It is the closest living relative of Faroese. These two languages, along with Norwegian, used to comprise West Nordic, while Danish and Swedish made up East Nordic. Today, the Nordic languages are divided into Insular Nordic and Mainland Scandinavian languages, Norwegian being grouped with Danish and Swedish because of mutual intelligibility. The fact that Norwegian has been heavily influenced by East Scandinavian, particularly Danish, during the last millennium and has diverged considerably from both Faroese and Icelandic. The culture of Iceland is rich and varied as well as being known for its literary heritage which stems from authors from the 12th to 14th centuries. Other Icelandic traditional arts include weaving, silver crafting, and wood carving. The Reykjavik area has several professional theaters, a symphony orchestra, an opera, and a large amount of art galleries, bookstores, cinemas, and museums. There are also four active folk dance ensembles in Iceland. 
Iceland's literacy rate is among the highest in the world, and a love of literature, art, chess, and other intellectual pursuits is widespread. Religion in Iceland was initially the Norse pagan that was a common belief among medieval Scandinavians until Christian conversion. Later, the nation became half Christian and then more fully Christian. This increase in Christianization culminated in the Pietism period when non-Christian entertainments were discouraged. At present, the population is overwhelmingly, if nominally, Lutheran. However, Baptist, Catholic, Jehovah's Witness, Baha'i, Neopagan, Mormon, Muslim, and other faiths exist. On April 15, 2010, British civil aviation authorities ordered the country's airspace closed as of noon due to a cloud of ash drifting from the erupting Efjafalashokul volcano in Iceland. The volcano has erupted for the second time in less than a month, melting ice, shooting smoke and steam into the air and forcing hundreds of people to flee rising floodwaters. The volcanic ash has forced the cancellation of many flights and disrupted air traffic across northern Europe, stranding thousands of passengers. Well, I hope you all like my presentation. Um, I'm sorry that it took longer than it was supposed to be, which was five minutes. But uh, still, I hope you all liked it. Uh, thanks for your time.